This is the first morning with Jen off at the Planning Commissioner Conference, so it's me on my own with the kids, and we're off to a bit of a rough start. Um, here's Brighton. Okay, so anyhow, we're off to a bit of a rough start. On a normal Wednesday, I'm working from home, so I do usually the kids' drop-offs in the mornings. Um, Wednesdays are also a late start for the high school kids. So what happens is I wake up the high schoolers. A little bit later, I wake up the... Thank you for taking the camera, Brayton. Oh, don't hit the button. I wonder why we've lost all light. Anyhow, I wake up the high schoolers. A little bit later, I wake up the grade schoolers. And I drop off the high schoolers, then I drop off the grade schoolers, and since Jen is home, it's not a big deal to have the little kids still here. Sometimes somebody will wake up and go with us, but most of the time it's fine. Um, today, with no Jen, I have to take all the little kids. Plus, I've had a couple weeks where I've been changing my schedule, and I've been working from home on Fridays, so I've gotten out of the routine. And I underestimated just how tight all the turnarounds were today. Um, so, I got the first group up, and then I got the second group up, and then I had to get the little kids up so that they'd be able to go with us. And we had a diaper that was in very bad shape and took a lot of time cleaning, and I'm working on cleaning that up, and then I hear an alarm going off, and I realize, oh, it's already time to take the big kids. So I scramble through there. Um, Aurora's getting very upset, so I take her with me to drop off the big kids. I get back. It's already about time to take the little kids. I've still got two melting down. I feel bad I left the grade schoolers in charge of Diego melting down and the baby not so happy. But they did get the baby settled and Diego pretty settled. Aurora was doing okay, but then it's time to take everybody to school and... Diego's not quite with the program, and Aurora decides it's time to throw another fit, so we eventually get everybody out and load it up and go to the school, and I'm dropping them off, and then discover that Alton and Rio have both forgotten to pack their backpacks, so I drop off four of the kids there, come back with Travis, he runs in, grabs backpacks, we go back to the school, he goes out and gives them their backpacks, and Luckily we made it in time, and the little kids didn't melt down when we did the extra run home, which was a very pleasant surprise. Um, so then we came home, and Aurora decided to go back into melting down and the baby wanting attention. And we had an orange juice sippy cup for Aurora, which was dripping some. I tried changing the sippy, it was still dripping some. And then eventually with her climbing on me and going nuts and me trying to get her to settle down some we had the sippy open and dump all over me so that was just a good reminder that it's a long day and I'm looking forward to when Jen's back and yes Jen I do appreciate that you spend a lot of time with the kids here and taking care of them and putting up at the insanity right now we've got happy kids which I can't seem to zoom in on but they are over there on that sofa, Brighton and Diego having fun. So anyhow, I will check in again later if I'm still alive from the kids. Okay, bye. It's now midday and time to pick up the kids from school because it's a minimum day due to parent-teacher conferences. And being rather foolish, I said, hey, it's a nice day. We need rain, but it's still a nice day ahead of our upcoming string of storms so why don't I go ahead and we'll take the stroller which is good but once more a big messy diaper has thrown off of the schedule and now I'm walking rather fast to try and get to school on time how are we doing kids good. okay they're happy at least so, I will talk to you later and hopefully I make it in time well, we almost made it. The kindergartner was already out waiting for us. And the uh, second grader was there also. 
Uh, they were waiting behind the gate. Oh, for I the know. I said you're late. Parents to pick him up, which is good. But of course, now we still get to wait because they stagger the grades coming out so that they don't have the whole parking lot full of people trying to pick the entire school up at once. But since we have people in five different grades, that means that we're up to the end and start at the end. So it's like 17 minutes from the first one getting out to the last. Luckily, out in the kindergarten is in the back of the school, so there's usually a five minute wait to get out. It seems we're going to go faster today. Only like a 12 minute wait. But we've got several of them there. And Aurora's out stretching her legs. They're having a little juice and apple break out and got apples in class. So. Taking it easy. Except for Alton, who's excited to play with Rio. Or Brighton, excited to play with Rio. Yes, I do get the names confused sometimes. So now we just wait around for the other ones to get out. Hopefully, pretty soon. Dakota had to go over to a friend's to work on a school project, so poor Mr. Travis has been left here on his own with a horde of starving, crazy people. We'll see how he has coped with it. Well, sounds like everything is awesome. This represents a major accomplishment. It's taken me about six different tries to get through loading the dishwasher. Because every time I get there, the baby comes running up to grab onto it. Luckily, he's now trying to escape it from his high chair, so I'll let you go. Hey Jen, when you're watching this and thinking that you would enjoy your day away more if you didn't know what you were missing, what happened to your arm for mounting the camera so it's not just sitting down there at the funny angle. Anyhow, I'm off to pick up Dakota from a friend's house, which will get all the kids together and be the end of the running around until we end up running out to the store for a bunch of stuff and then running out to the store for stuff that the kids say, oh, we need this too. So I think I've just about survived the day. It's almost 5.30, so Jen is probably on her way or soon to be on her way. I've only once come close to leaving a kid in the car. That was Aurora on the morning when she had been going crazy and then she settled down when she was in the car. But I caught that as I was getting ready to go in the house and said, nope, I better bring in Aurora too. Um, otherwise, we've got everybody back now except for Dakota who I'm picking up. The homework is all done, except whatever Coda might have. Chores are done or well underway. Nothing too major has been broken that I'm aware of, so they've done a good job hiding it. So, all in all, pretty successful on the home front. Now, I, at one time, I had hoped to do a fair amount of work today. I checked email occasionally, I updated a couple things on our project plan, chatted with one of my friends at work, and all in all put in maybe half an hour, so not so much there. I'd had a couple of grand ideas for big household projects I could work on, which have gone even less far, so not so much there, but we have made it through the day, and apparently lost our aim on the camera. just about done and thank you for putting up with me and don't worry Jen will be back in a few days that is she'll be back on the vlog in a few days she better be home tonight or I'll lose all control Who have you got there, Brighton? Yeah, Mama. Is Mommy home? Yeah. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. I was working on it.